Good evening, everybody. This is David Slash Asher, and uh, joining me tonight is, of course, MPX. Hello. Oh, come on. Look at me. Look at that. And, well, we're going to continue from where we left off, so let's get this party started. I did do a tiny bit of grinding in in the game, but it wasn't like, oh, fight combat. It was much more of, like, safe scumming because of... Ugh. The search for the remaining orbs continues, having followed the tragic tale of Kai and Michelle's ill-fated interspecies tryst through its conclusion. The party set out to try and use the Lorelei's harp to reach the underwater nation of Nautica, where they hope to uncover some clues as to the whereabouts of the giant pearl that sank beneath the waves. The harp works. The salty stallion descends safely to the ocean floor. Once there, the party are granted an audience with Queen Marina and informer of Michelle's unfortunate fate. As a mark of gratitude for having gone to such great lengths to help one of her subjects, she presents them with the green orb as a reward. Their goal in going there achieved, she sets out from the, uh, the friends set out from Nautica to seek the remaining orbs from the queen's parting words, still ringing in the arrows. All roads lead from the tree of life and to the tree return. It shows curiosity is such is a wonderful thing, but if left unchecked, it can lead to danger uh, uh, results dangerous. That is why we have strict curfew. After all, the academy is not but a stone's throw from the airy airy. That valley is ruled over by a cruel and covetous Elysium bird. If ever that feathered fiend sees anything shiny, he seizes it in his talons and takes it home to his nest. Oh boy, I feel... Tonight's gonna be fun. To learn the true horror of this beast, go to the bibliotheque. We have a book there that will tell you all about him. Come here, uh... Ah, yes. Oh yeah, uh, miscellaneous, nope, uh, fun size forge, I did grab enough materials to forge that weep, just that one, and that's taking my one green eye, oh boy, flourishes, double. Sizzly puff. Praise. Oh, it's at least a plus two, so we will finish it here. Queen's whip plus two. And it's not going in anybody's hands because we need it for reasons. Tensely flowery fragrance. 
Bonsoir, monsieur. My name is Madrodorin de la Marour. Do you like my perfume? All my friends in the school say I'm the prettiest marine walking corpse they've ever met. Dear. Madame Augustine, been CJ for 40 years. I cannot count the number of young girls that have passed through these outdoors. So many happy days, though, that they would last for my old bones, they are beginning to creak. This is place two. So, there was a mention of trying to find a article. Hello. I'm Bastien, editor-in-chief of the school newsletter, Le Mini Monde. Not that you know it from this big blank, blank, blank space on the notice board. I just finished tacking up this month's issue wherein it got caught, caught, caught by the breeze and blew out the window. And to top, top, top it off, it all off, it all went new, new, new format. Even had the long witted Cherie -cher column. Advice for the lovelorn Madame Cherie herself. Were you hoping to get, get, get some advice yourself? I'm sorry, but it would take me far too long to reprint. I decided to re uh, write, write, write the issue off and start work on the next one instead. If you're absolutely desperate to read the Madame Shirley column, you'll have to just hunt, hunt, hunt down that one and only copy. It blew, blew, blew away in the direction of the eerie area. I'll wager that some kindly monsters found it and stuck, stuck, stuck up on the signpost somewhere. Why do I think, think, think that? Because it was a masterpiece, of course. Even the meanest monster would recognize it as genius and want, want, want to share it with the whole world. Well... We won't be able to find that until we go into the Eerie Eerie. So let's go find that delinquent. And see if we can give her that whip. Which may be that character in the back corner. Uh, nope. I know we're starting out doing side questing, but we're probably going to be moving on to the Eerie area anyway. Alright. Oh, wow. She's even out here in her... Wow, what a whip. There's no way Madame Wallop can complain about this little beauty. This is sure to give me off the hook. In fact, if she ever finds out what I did, she right reward me for throwing away a ratty old one when she sees this absolute corker. Tee hee. Thank you, Adventure. I owe you one. Here, you should have these. Three mini medals. That is not what I thought it would be, but... Eh. You're different. Okay, we've come to the memory box. Go back to the cafeteria and Madame de Beauvoir. Can't do the third one because, well, we have to go to the area. So, let's get these two knocked out. Ors, uh, Alors, Voyager, did you find anything in the jardin? Here you go, ma'am. You found this box? What is inside, I wonder? Let me have a little look. Madame de Beauvoir opens the box and finds a red ribbon and a letter inside. 
She unfolds the letter and begins to read. By the time you read this, I will be very far, far away. The crown prince of Heliodor has asked to be my hand in marriage, and I cannot refuse him. Is this the wife of the current sultan? Oh wait, no, the current king? I am to be queen, so I cannot think of only my happiness anymore. My kingdom and my people must come first. I am afraid that I will no longer be myself. But even though I may change, I will always carry the wonderful memories of the days we shared together in my heart. I will never forget you. So I beg you, dear friend, do not forget me. Remember the girl I was, and know that you will always be my meilleur ami. Mon ami soeur, my best friend, my soulmate. I give you my ribbon as a token of our eternal friendship. You will always set how much you liked it. Now it is yours. Ah, so it is true. It is a letter from her, my dearest friend. She was the prettiest girl in the school. La Place Belle Fille de l'Académie. With long, beautiful black hairs that she always tied up in that big, bright ribbon. On the day of graduation, I learned that she was to be married to the Prince of a Faraway Kingdom. I felt so betrayed. We had a terrible argument. That was the last time I ever saw her. I have urged she gave birth to a daughter, but she has take, uh, was taken ill so soon after the child was born and passed away. I have always regretted what happened that night. We should not have fought. She was happy, and I should have been happy for her. So many years have passed since the uh, Zeus Jours de Rivere, the dreamlike days we spent together. But I have thought about my belle Mie Emmy every day since we said au revoir. Mercy, Voyager. I thank you for bringing us together once more. Voila, take a ribbon as your reward. When my friend was Genuifilie, she wore it in her beautiful hair. But I am an old woman now. I must follow her lead and let go of childish things. Let your companion wear it instead. She is Trail's belle, too, with long black hair just like that of my friend. I'm sure it will suit her just as much as it did my belle Amie. Receives a bell's bow. And that... is complete. But I have made some rather disturbing accoutrements. So we have the bunny ears, we have the fish and stockings. But what's this? A bunny suit? Haha! <laughs> it is done. It is completed. Ah, and now we just go zoom to that was Puerto, uh, Puerto Valor. And talk to the creepy, bo uh, creepy man on the beach. Uh... I did not... Oh, God. If this was 14, I would have wasted the materials on this bunny suit. <laughs> because I did not hit all the things. It's like, it won't turn out... It, it actually gave me... It won't turn out well. But since the game is not going to, like, actually get you to lose materials, it just puts it at the base material... Uh, base level. I will never see if... Ay ay ay! Is the transformation complete? Has your friend transformed into a beautiful bunny girl? Muy bien! That is all that remains is for her to oblige an old man and put the costume on. Dear... My dear, you're so very beautiful. You look every bit as marvelosa as the very... as the first bunny girl I ever saw. No, even more mar uh, maravillosa. In fact, si sí, chica. You are the most beautiful bunny girl the world has ever seen. Not everyone can carry the bunny girl outfit, you know. It requires a certain something, and you have it in spades. You agree, si sí, chico? You also know that your friend makes a perfect bunny girl. Hm. Shade Stroyer's coldly at the old man. Sighs deeply. 
and walks off. Ay ay ay! Angry bunnies are even more adorable. Dear Lord, man. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I must thank you for your efforts, Chico. Take this, por favor. And we receive the garter. It's not worth it. Jade Ware doesn't seem too happy that you did, though. So, Jade, we're gonna slap back in your stuff. Because you don't need magical might. Yeah. And, weirdly enough, let's check. Weirdly enough, the bunny suit is actually better for her than the Cloak of Evasion. Nine points of defense. Let's double check the fishnets. Shield ba- oh! I think Shield Bear would probably be a good thing for Jade, actually. And yes, I did put her with the Gracos Trident. Funny ears. Oh wait, she can't even do that. So, call the hairpin. Serenity. So, Jade is the only person to actually be able to equip the full bunny costume. So, let's go check our quest catalog. Uh, we need to talk to somebody in Phenom Non. And that one, we know where it is. Well, I'll just find something important. Why don't... Okay, so let's go pick that quest up real quick. And just zoom on Lulu before returning back to uh, the Academy and uh, going scaling the mountain. Okay, he's either on the beach. He's on the beach. No, I went off, damn it. Oh no, it's morning. The fact that the cannon. Still in the same place. Go grab the item here. Damn it, where is it? Man, where did it go? If I don't find it, it's all my time before the rest of the guys realize I'm a the, oh, 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 it's you. Sorry, friend, I'm kind of busy right now. I don't have time to chew the fat. Wait, it, you travel all the way, right? Maybe you can help. I, I know this is kind of out of the blue, but could you track something down for me? I'll make it worth your while, I swear. A warlock? Sure. Mahalo, friend. Thank you so much. All right, I'll cut to the chase. I need you to get my lucky lady back. She's a wooden figure in the shape of Goddess Lona. I take her with me every time I go fishing, but she's missing. I must have lost her on my last trip. Definitely had her when I sailed to that uninhabited island off to the shore north of here. I guess maybe I dropped her there or something, which means you gotta sail out there and get her back. Oh, and don't tell the rest of you guys, all right? Except my secret saint quest. Okay, which... Well, let's... Try... I... Do... Ha... Uh... I guess... 
Yep, we have money now. And yes, I kind of spent a lot of money to get us a lot of coinage to get some stuff from the uh, the casino, which that was the grinding. Watchables. Back to what the is. So he said an island north. Uninhabited. Which that would basically be way north. Oh no. Mermaniac. Dab zoo. Damn it. Frizzle? Wait, no. I want the sizzle. Pretty sure that's the island. Sea slimes. Insula Orealis. A golden shiny. Card figure. Oh, do to do. -do.
Oh look, slimes! Slimes everywhere! Hot. Smash. Mini medal. Yoink. A slime crown. I don't. Don't think that's an equipable. Nope, it's not. Uh, the regalia, regal regulia of one of the slime world's greatest good. And for those uh, fairly observant, yeah, we can see where they come from. There. It's a big boy. Not touching the big boy. Not worth it yet. Okay, what do you give me? Iron. Silver. Silver. That. All right, we're kind of gone done here. So, magic. Zoom. Honolulu. Uh, Honolulu. And then we will finish this up and then move on to. Well, main story. Which that's uh, going to Lacademy and uh, going to the Eerie Eerie and beating the shit out of a giant bird. Burb. Hey, -o. Yeah, lucky Lona, you came back to me. I'm never gonna let you go again. Oh, Lona. <laughs> I've been so scared and sad since I lost you. I haven't felt that way since my mom passed away. But, oh, sorry, you had to see that, friend. That ain't no way for a tough guy me to like talking. Truth is, I've never told guys this, but this figurine was present for my mom. It may look like a stone cold killer, but deep down, I guess I'm kind of a coward. Too scared to sail at home. But I have my lucky Lona on my world. It's like my ma's there with me. She has the same smile, you know. When the waves get big and I feel like I can't take no more, I look at Lona's face and it gives me the strength to carry on. Mahalo, traveler. If you hadn't brought back my lucky lady back, I'd have been too scared to set sail over again. Yeah, I want you to have this. Receives the warlock. Seriously, I've been nervous wrecked since I lost her. If my ma was still around, she would have chewed me out so bad. One of these days, I'm going to grow myself back on set sail and storm the walls without my la lucky lady to keep me company. And I think, Rab, we want to swap out this gold chain for this war- Yeah, for the warlock. It's only one bit point of defense, but it increases the magical might and mending. I think the only other person that might, not by much, uh, would be, yeah, no. Sorry, Reb. Well, actually, Reb, you're probably okay with it. All right, and now we just Zoom back to the Academy.
And let's turn in the mini medals that we got. Let's because we should at least get one more reward. Also, if you pay attention, you notice that uh, every location has had weird little tiny things next to the shopkeeps. Those little tiny weird things are all here in the office. Just have to go take a closer look. One of them is fairly obvious. Five mini bits. Magnifique. Bam. We've now got the Uniform de l'Academie. And that's for our female characters. Kit fit for a king. We need three more medals. So, equipment. Don't. Put you back on the bunny suit. Did I still have you in the cat? Oh my god, I need to get you a better armor. <laughs> Alright, let's, we're done. Let's get out of here. Let, let, let's not in, uh, become the weirdo that hangs out at school after we've graduated, even though we've never graduated here. So let's go check out the Ariere. And beat up a giant burb. That's gonna be fun. Yes, I know that's Metal Slime. No, it does not give us good Metal Slime gear, uh, stuff. So, no, it's not. No, it's not worth it. If it's just normal Metal Slime, that would be okay. But it's not. Also, I did actually come over here because this is where we can get platinum now. And that mirror stone that I had gotten before. I didn't try to go down this area too far because it's like this looks a little bit like a uh, story. Well, let's take a look. Ah, oh, he's looking and dashing. Oh, wonderful! Amazing! I never imagined we'd be able to use Lorelei's harp, Lorelei's harp, to sail through the underwater cave and pop out in the middle of a lake. Maybe this isn't the only place we can go through those whirlpools. Come on, Aileris, let's check them out. The salty stallion wants to go spelunking. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but... Ever since the fateful night we were driven from Dundrasil, Rav and I have wandered the world, keeping our true identity a secret. We've passed through these lines several times, I'm sure. There's a village with some famous old ruins over a bridge to the south. Hmm... Jeans. One minute we're at the bottom of the ocean, next we'll find ourselves in Camp Sauvage. How long has it been since me and the princess last set foot here? It can only be fate that's brought us back. What do you have for us here? Robin and Borum. Got the cut. We have a better cottery sword. Eagle dagger and 
Wyvern Wand. Yeah. We have something better than the Lightning Staff. Admittedly, I think our Lightning Staff can go on. Uh, no. Silver Claws. The Light Shield. Seal Shield. Bronze Helmet. Iron Mask. Plate Armor. About some of these, the Light Shield, maybe, and the Wyvern one. Well, let's check out. You know, I've been thinking. Before I teamed up with you, I traveled all over Eridria, picking pockets and sleeping under the stars. Don't think I ever came here, though. Let's head to the nearest town. When you find yourself in a strange place, it's always good to talk to locals and get the lay of the land. Are you alright? What a strange place. The north is so different to the south. It's almost as if they're two completely separate worlds. Well, Iris, which area shall I take a look around first? North. Hey, listen! Did you see her, Aileris? There was a little girl in a fancy uniform walking up the path just a little while ago. There must be some kind of school around here. Let's go have a look, shall we? Maybe we'll learn something. Well, we've already been there, so... Nope. We are continuing down... Can't go there yet because we have to go this way. Mirror stone, oh boy. Our work isn't done yet. Ow. Jesus! Crackle. The Metal Slime Knights. Yep. Oh, wait, no, that, I meant grab. Damn it. Hey, Veronica's up. Crackle. All right, let's let's ride this squishy metal boy.
The Vanguard? Agility. That I feel is much more our. Ah, uh, it's actually where it's from. Dundrasil? Shilly. Lump of Flintstone. Pink Pine. Glimmer uh, grass. What do you say? This way to Iri Iri. Enter at your own risk. Fuck the bird. Brings me just back out here. Yep. Ba -da -ba. Ba -da. The rainbow grows <laughs> glows brightly. What are the orbs must be nearby. Shell, I don't want to deal with the crab. Crab can go fuck itself. Ah, but there's another crab. Shiny metal boys. Let's check in with everybody. You know, I've been thinking. Take it from a former thief. This valley's full of treasure. I can smell it a mile off. Places like this where nobody ever comes is, are always jam-packed with a good swag. Let's get looting. Oh, honestly. The eerie eerie. I don't like the sound of that one bit. If there's one thing I simply can't stand, it's birds. I don't know why, but the naughty things always try to pick my eyes out. Perhaps they think they're precious glittering jewels. I suppose it's an easy mistake to make. <laughs> That's a different way of saying somebody's bright eyed. Hello. Did you see those monsters shaped like eggs, Ailerons? I was looking at one and suddenly, whoosh! It jumped up almost all the way to the top of the cliff. If we get lost, we should do what they do climb as high as we can and take a look around. There are a lot of dangerous monsters around here. Please don't take too many risks, Adelaris. If you need to heal or rest, we can always come back here again later. <laughs> the eerie eerie. I wonder what's so eerie about it. Perhaps a particularly fearsome kind of bird makes its nest here? I hope so. The emblem of Heliodor is an almost double-headed eagle. Saw it everywhere when I was a little girl, and i loved birds ever since. The eerier, the better. Okay. And... Listen up, laddie. Once I read about the terrifying valley ruled over by a gang of vicious Hades condors. And you know, I reckon we found it. 
name's anything to go by, I'm sure it's to be some big bad birds nearby. Oh, let's go grab one of those egg boys and start chomping. Alright. You there. Egg boy. Rotten exoskeleton. Well, slash. Really? They're metal! Okay, that... Do not enter without good reason. I'm curious, is that good reason enough? Another victory. Not too
Time to swap out. Oh, there's only one of them. Really? We win again. And shortcut. Electrifying equipment. Lightning staffs, lightning lances. Uh, yeah, let's give her the lightning staff. bird. Another one. Actually, what do you have? Uh, actually, that's better for you. And a little of MP re uh, regen as well. Can't do that one. Can't do that one. Jesus, that would actually be kind of actually pretty good. Equipment. Actually. Forge. Can I make better armor for my character? Oh. 
Forge. Forge armor. Oh. Yes, I can now make the bunny ears. Should I actually make that? Aha! I can make the Dracilian helm. Let's see. Okay, I can make both of them. Sorry, everybody. Sizzly? Base is still better than nothing. So, let's attempt... Plus one is... plus one? As much as I like the malleable mask... I... F max... Uh, more MP in general, that's actually better. And then... Ooh, that... That actually looks kind of nice. Oh no, a burb. Ah, what are you doing here, humans? You're thinking of feathering my, uh, your nest with my treasure? You've got another thing coming. Ah. Time to be... Hades Condor and the Elysium Bird. Plus the Hades Condors.
Pet powers. Grab. Let's do this. Good Jesus. Harvest Moon, hey! Real good. Spells. Oh, Jesus. Are you ready for this? Fuck you, bird. Eat it! <laughs> no. The Silver Orb! Yes! We finally got our hands on the Silver Orb! Whoever would have thought we'd find it all the way up here? But don't rest on your laurels just yet, Aelorus. We can't stop searching until we've found all six. Oh! Cleared that out, and we got... Oh, snaps. Damn it. Give me a moment. I actually do want to unlock that shortcut, even though it's like, but why? It's like, because... So I have to go that way.
There we go. The reason why is that we have still yet to find that flyer. Slime dead. Bonk. Well, it's just the fact that, like, I'm pretty sure I know exactly where it is because it's actually supposed to be. Fair oh, hey, Magic Beast Horn. It's actually supposed to be fairly early. I just kind of skipped over it and went into a weird area first. Because it's supposed to be around that edge, I believe. And it just requires the use of the Egg Boys. So... I think... Ah! Did not mean to jump onto the uh, Goomba Stomp the Crabs. right quick That one just... Thunderball. Huh. Thought it was around here, but... Oh well. to phenom non <laughs> I 
I will say this, I actually do like the design of this armor. Uh, but it is a little bit kind of, like, spoilery, if you know what's come uh, where this armor is meant, uh, like, who this armor is usually worn by. Other than it's, like, Drusillian armor, and it's like, okay. Well, I would think it is... Most people playing this are probably Dragon Quest veterans. Yeah. Well, it's not like the traditional Yusha armor that a lot of people... I mean, it's pretty close. Well, no, the traditional one is the, like, blue tunic, the cape, and the, the weird... Okay, technically it's not armor, but... <laughs> yeah. Or at least it doesn't appear like plate armor. Technically you would wear the tunic on top of it. Yeah. Ooh, a red eye. Wait, what? There's a chest. Ah, oh, boy. around here. Sorry, it's just typical RPG sense of like, I see a chest. Why have I not gotten it? <laughs> and admittedly, yeah, it does have the weird like clinky clinky bits, but I think that's actually much more appropriate than some... than some games where it's like the armor makes barely any sound and it's like how the how just how although to a degree it does sound like somebody's wearing a power mail because it's got a weird piss neat sound to it And time to go to the south. Why did you do that? Bit of the dactyls. I think these are actually considered dragons to a degree. Oh no, murder pickles. Zumini. I think it was best to go to Phenomenon first, but... At 
<laughs> Yay, 200 attempts. Nope, nope, leave me the f out of it. Those are golems, I'm pretty sure. Nothing story happened, right? Nothing story happened. I uh, just trying to find the way to phenomenal around here, which so trying to find various chests, and that's too many meters. I don't want to fight you. I think you're clay goals. How the... How wonderful! Okay. Not gonna make stuff because there's not a lot I can technically make. Do a quick save. I mean, Bird Boss was not that big of a boss, but then again, it's at a point where I think they were trying to go like, oh, hey. Well, it's more of a side boss sort of thing. Like, you can complete it easily. Oh, hey, here it is. Zoop. Let's check out Phenomenon. Phenom Nom. It's got a beat. That guy looked a bit young for selling armor, but. <gasps> for once, our female. Drongos. Some of us have got sights to see. Asshole. Also, most of our females are actually, you know, presentable for once and. Our males are actually, barring one, are actually looking fairly decent. <laughs> Sorry, this Eric, but... place is still full of friendly visitors. Yeah, Eric, but you kind of need to dress up a little bit. We passed through a while back on the hunt for clues about Mordigan, you see. Hmm. The beatific smile of the mural of the ruins of now what brings good fortune to all who lay eyes upon it. The who? The what? First base? Well, if they believe that kind of rubbish, I'm guessing you didn't find out much of any use. <laughs> Aye, that's right, laddie. Not a sausage. But we're looking for something different now. And with the luminary with us, too. I have a feeling it might be worth taking another look at those ruins with fresh eyes. We'll have to make our way through town and over the top of the mountain to get there. Let's split up and see what we can find out on the way. Ah, oh, you've come from afar. Far away, yes? Welcome to Phenomenon. Home of the beautiful lady in the mural. You have to come to see now what? Ruins. I think so? Yes, the mural and the ruins very, very popular tourists. She brings them good luck. If you want to go there, you must climb the staircase in the center of the village and then down the other side to the yell. Do not go home without taking a look. Obviously, this is making a uh, reference to Angkor Wat. The others have gone to the ruins already. If we're gonna go after them, we need to climb the stairs in the uh, center of the village to the other side of the hill. 
To be honest with you, I'm looking forward to getting out of here. I hate people trying to sell me things. And you, sir, have a quest for me. What do you think of the lanterns, sir? I love them. I live for them. Keeping them light is my life's work. The lanterns are a symbol of phenomenon. I think so. Many, many tourists come to see them. And everyone's impressed with how beautiful they are. Unfortunately, some of the lanterns have been in use for a very, very long time. They're showing severe signs of wear and tear. I'd like to repair them, of course, but I have to run out of the rain... Uh, a run out of the rainproof rail on that is required. And it's impossible if you go and fetch more. You see, the only way to acquire is by hunting monsters called Brawly Gaggers. If you tried to do that, it would surely end in disaster. You, on the other hand, are strong and fearless, I think so. Perhaps you could go and fetch me, uh, fetch the rainproof rail on the require. Ten silver ore, that sounds okay. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I have a very big, generous heart. I think so. Brawly gaggers can be found in the southern part of the Champ Sauvage. But only when it's raining. Please, sir, hunt one down and bring me the rainproof rail on our require. So, that one's going to be done off stream. Because, obviously, I have to get the area around it raining. And then I have to find out where they roughly are at. Oop, barrel. Barrel, barrel, come first. Book, book next. What really happened? The destruction of now what explained. The events leading up to the fall of the kingdom that stood on the side of the now what ruins uh, remain. Now what sh remain shrouded in mystery, but thanks to recent research on the topic, some details have finally come to light. In nations whose populations die out gradually, tombs and gravesites are left behind as, sur as survivors lay their dead to rest. However, no signs remain of any tombs, crypts, or even mass graves dating from the period of this particular civilization's collapse. Which would seem to suggest whatever happened here happened quickly enough that no one remained to bury the dead. Two other kingdoms have followed the same distinctive pattern. The once great nations Zvardrust and Dundrasil. Could the same fate befell those two realms have also befallen the civilization of now what? To wit, sudden and catastrophic monster attack? Eh, possible. Oh! Smoosh. There's layers. There's barrels at lower layers. There's... Bell cap. Nothing other than those two. Ha! Check everywhere. And a dragon horn. Oh, no. Are you smoosh barrels? You're smoosh barrels. Hot. Sorry, ma'am. Warm line. Sorry, everybody. Let's see here. Memoirs of Treasure Hunter, Volume 3! Oh, goody! This is the Journal of Pseudo Nim, Treasure Hunter Extraordinaire. After hearing the rumor of the rainbow that was being offered as a prize in exchange for 99 midi metals, I headed to the school. Of course, I should have known it was too good to be true. The prize on offer was nothing more than a Dracilian soldier's uniform. And a fetching shade of navy, I mind you. Mind you. Rugged, practical outfit like that would be perfect for most adventurers, but 
was a touch too tight around the belly for me. Which made the sting of disappointment all the sharper. I don't think the armor we're wearing is navy. Ours is much more teal. My journey wasn't complete waste, however. Uh, the fine young ladies of the academy told me the kingdom was Sniffelheim, where some of the most notable minds of all of Eredria congregate. If anyone holds a clue as to the whereabouts of the sacred, uh, of the cursed rainbow, it'll be Sniffelheim. I'm going to head out, but first I'll need to find somewhere to spend the night. Can't spend it here. Check everywhere. Nope. There's a door here. Leads out into a balcony. Goes down to the kitchen. Nope. <laughs> nope. Can't get out of here. That way. Alright. Panacea. Well, let's check out the armor shop with, uh... I'm in charge of this shop. My daddy said so. Please take a look at our special armors. Light shield, steel shield, silver tiara. Iron mask. Strong Sam. Defense and agility. That may actually be better. Silver kiros. You may have to feel like I've been ignoring poor old um uh Eric. Good fortune is very, very nice, but you need also need good weapons to keep your life down. I think so. So sir. Got a cutry, carbon sword breaker. Soren Wyvern Lightning, Trident Scorpion Tail, Silver Claws. You've got a book as well, sir. Dragony Designs. Wyvern Wands and Dragon Tail Whips, which means that I can make that Dragon Tail, uh, that Dragon Wand. Okay, that's where that is. Anything back? Nope. Fuck your pumpkins. Dresser? Even cloth? Nothing. Oh, can't go out that way, apparently. means seriously what that's our third mini metal that gets us up to 30 
many more steps. I'm bushed. These rooms can't be much farther, can they? Mustn't give up. Phew. Nope, gotta pull myself together. Get to the mural and get me a double helping of the good old fortune. Oh boy, if you're that tuckered from that amount of steps, are you trying to rush them up, uh, like rush up the steps or something? Okay, so can't check there. But I can definitely check behind here. See if there's anything. Nope. Chest, finally! And perfectionist pearls. That's kinda helpful. But you have a bookcase there. Wish upon my star. On the cover is a picture of a woman lying in bed stroking a young boy's hair. My dear Nisei, don't cry. Mama will not disappear forever. I will ask Yggdrasil to make me a star and place me high up in the sky. And whenever you look sad or lonely, and even when you are happy, you can look up and see me watching over you. So, my dear Nisei, don't cry. Keep your eyes dry so you can turn them upward and find Mama. Interesting. This looks like a library. Good day, sir. It's always a pleasure to meet a visitor to our village. Trust in so much like uh, and so much more than sources of income to us. We like to think that you are peop wait, what? That you are people too? Of course we're people. Now you must pay a visit to the rooms now what before you leave. The lady in the mirror is sure to bring good luck and fortune for you. Okay, there's only one there's two barrels. And only one book. Better be... Jarvis uh, Pample called The Rough Planet Guide to Phenomenon. Since its discovery deep within the ruins, beautiful smiling mural of now what has gained something of a reputation for blessing visitors with good fortune, drawing sightseers from across the world. The ruins themselves are thought to be all that remains of a once powerful civilization that was destroyed under mysterious circumstances hundreds of years ago. But what could have spelled the end of uh, for so large a kingdom, blessed with such natural riches nestled within the safety of the mountain? Valius, this is an enigma that has long troubled historians. King God mad, driving his own legacy to ruin, an unforeseen and unprecedented natural disaster, concentrated in cataclysmic attack by monsters? Hypotheses abound, but the mystery remains unsolved. When you pay a visit to Nowod, be sure to visit the mural and enjoy the blessing it gives. But spare a thought, too, for this once great kingdom and the tragic loss those ruins represent. Ah, there you are, lady. This is nay the easiest place to get around if your legs aren't what they used to be. Eric and have already gone ahead into the ruins. I'm just taking a wee rest here. Then I'll catch up. You go on ahead. Take a brief visit to the temple here.
Oh, that was a small child. Doesn't it just break your heart? The poor things lost her parents. Oh, don't cry, sweetie. It's all right. We'll help you find them. Now, why don't you tell me your name? Child. Dora. Oh no. Dora. My name's Dora. I came here with my mother and father, but then they left me behind. They said that the mural was going to make them rich, and then they just went. <laughs> went and what? Committed suicide? Please help me. I want them back so badly. Sold themselves into slavery? Oh, there, there, little one. We'll find out where they've gone. Don't you worry. I'll take the town. You search the ruins, okay? Okay. Sure. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Sylve's detective agency to the rescue. Let the search begin. Okay, just tired. Hey, look, it's Ankor. What? Mural, mural on the wall. Who be the richest of them all? Definitely not you. I mean, advertising how great this painting was probably does help. Hey, look, door. Hey, you little ripper, I'm gonna be loaded. I hope this mirror's as cra crash hot as a crash hot. What the f it's crash hot? The ruins at last! Bonzer! Bon bon Bonzer? I do not know this colloquialism. This does not sound like any normal colloquialism that I'd find. Also, hello. You give me your password. Knickknacks for nifty knickers. Blood letters, sword breakers, and thief turbans. Robber gloves and gloomy gloves. We just found a bunch of shit for Eric. Heck yeah. Well, well, a fellow scholar. Don't ask me how I know, it's just a gift I have. You're here to investigate the ruins as well, aren't you? Well, yeah. But of course you are. Who could resist the chance to poke around among the mysteries of now with what? It's the last remaining relic of a long lost kingdom, you know. Just how does something like that happen, I hear you ask? How does an entire kingdom fall under ruins? Well, that's what I'm here to find out. I mean, technically, like... I'd say the best example would be Monster Attack, given what happened to Dundrasil. But... Maybe there's a deeper mystery. Okay. Maybe there's a deeper mystery. Well, let's go see what this mural is. Well, the party's all right here. Well, let's go check in with the party. I just wanted to actually... You came for a look at the mural everyone's talking about too, huh? Well, here it is. I guess it is pretty impressive. I still don't believe all that stuff about it being lucky, though. Hmm. That's a... I wonder why she has a key around her neck. It's a... Hmm. She's not exactly in the best condition, but yes, you're right. She's beautiful. Hmm. Key? What's that around her neck? It looks like some kind of strange key. <gasps> not just any old strange key. 
Serena, that's the magic key. I'm sure of it. Another Dragon Quest staple. Technically, a lot of old NES games also had that thing. I mean, Legend of Zelda had it, but it was like, what? The, the magic key we got in, like, Dungeon 8? Or was it the final dungeon that it showed up in? I don't remember. I know you got it fairly late. <sighs> was that your stomach, Veronica? You're hungry again? Sheesh. No, it was not! Maybe if you weren't so clearly distracted by this impressive lady here, you'd realize that didn't sound anything like my tummy rumbling. Oh, shut up, you little brat. Oh, I saw where your, your stomach's like the going. creature you rising from the me. deep. The big guy was like trying to settle by you without being. This little beauty's gonna make old Bazaar rich. At least the big guy was trying to like, excuse me, excuse me. Where's the front assholes? Like, get out of my way, Bazaar. Buzzer. Hey, there's plenty of room for everybody to look, you know. I know your game, Spikey. Well, you can't keep it all to yourselves, you know. We deserve a chance to get rich, too. Stop trying to hog all the good luck, you selfish so-and-sos. Yeah. Give someone else a chance to be happy, why don't you? Yeah, yeah, those are the types of people that don't give other people the chance to be happy. Um, I think we should probably leave, don't you? <sighs> yeah. Fuck these guys. Wow. I was pretty keen to see the mural, but clearly not as keen as some. Hmm. What is it? Is there something else worrying you? Well... Huh. <laughs> so you're looking for this kid's parents, huh? Well, we got nothing better to do. Let's see what we can find. There you are, my trusty sidekick! <laughs> Alas, I found no sign of the missing persons in town. Did you have any luck here? I don't know why, but I feel like the Drusillian armor and Silvando in that fencer's uniform, or at least, you know, like, ah ha ha, noble in uh, yeah. etiquette form, Really does feel like we are his assistant because, well, we're the trusty knight and he's the nobleman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. It is a puzzling mystery indeed. Ah, but I am forgetting our young client. A detective cannot leave a child in distress. Come, we must find her. And then we'll all have to go back. All right. Oh, hey. I can feel it. Can you feel it? I can certainly, and I certainly can. Yes, yeah, a mysterious force emanating from the ruins. You develop awareness for these things when you've seen as much as I have. Oh, by the way, did you know the person who discovered the mural in the ruins disappeared in mysterious circumstances? Mysterious circumstances, you say? I thought that would get your attention. Huh? You're, you're not interested in that. You want to go help a little girl who lost her parents? Pfft, ask someone else. I got bigger fish to fry. Not much change, but let's get back to... Where's little Dora gone? Honey, I've lost little Dora. First her parents, now her. What's going on in this crazy village? Okay, new plan. Uh, where will you, we need to team up and look for her together? The village square is full of people. If she went that way, someone will have seen her. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. God I cannot speak tonight. Nope. 
Round two, but with less... One, only one has come here in order to pray for one's beloved daughter's good fortune in her school entrance exam, you know. The journey here was quite frightful. Still, she if it helps the little one's princess get the mark she deserves, it will all have been worth it. And find anything? I th thought this girl might be the one who lost her brother. I was there uh, wrong. Anyway, Serena and those have headed back towards the village square. You should probably go and help them look down there. Dora, what a vulgar name! One is most certainly not Dora, and one knows exactly where his one pants are. Thank you very much. God. Does being a child in this universe make you really super... Obnoxious? Obnoxious, yeah. I think the reality is that a lot of children don't realize they're being obnoxious. Yeah. Oh, hey! Dragon Quest Female Monk! I wonder what this uniform looks like! I'm a traveler just like you. Roaming the world, searching for some meaning in life. I've been all over the place, and now I'm ended up here. All I keep hearing about is this mural, thanks to those wishes and yeah, it makes wishes come true. Can't say I believe in such things, but supposedly it's worth a look. <gasps> Barrels! Squish. Phenomenal has become very, very lively since so I found that mural in the ruins. It's all thanks to the blessings of the mural lady. Now, being separated from parents at that age is hard. And lonely. I should know. Let's try and find her mother and father quickly as we can, shall we? Nope. Oh no! You are visitors here, yes? You come from far, far away? Welcome to Phenom Nun. But I just... First, I should introduce myself, I think. My name is Moni, and I am Phenom Nun's number one memorabilia merchant. His name is Money. 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 If you want a souvenir of your trip or some tasty local produce, you must come to me. I have the best deals in town. God. Uh, it's no good. We've searched high and low, but we can't find her anywhere. The poor little darling has disappeared. Hmm? You are searching for someone, yes? Then you are very lucky. Oh? Do you know how to find people? Yes. Well, n no. Not me, but my wife. What, what? Why does your wife know how to find people? She is the boss of the inn in this village. She knows everything about people who are coming and going here. Okay. That... Agree to spend the night between our clean and sumptuous sheets, and I'm certain she will share with you her knowledge. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. You do not need to worry about the cost. The first night, we will offer entirely for free. You are happy with this deal, yes? Actually, yeah. That's good. A good. Very good. I will tell my wife that you are coming. She will be expecting you whenever you are ready. So, uh, I am actually going to hold off on doing that because we've got like 10 minutes left. And uh, spending the night actually does move, move the story along. And I get locked into place. So, can't do grinding stuff like do the side quest. So, we're going to just zoom over to Le Academy and turn out those three medals. Now I look a little bit more respectable. And I will probably try and find out where that uh, flyer is, because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be on uh, it's supposed to be on Eerie Eerie. But I and it's supposed to be like a golden sh uh, shimmer. But with it not popping up, that's a bit of a different problem.
Felicitations, young man. Your reward for collecting 30 stamps is a is kit fit for a king. A maximally magnificent prize indeed. And we learn how to make crowns of Dundrasil. Drusillian dress coats. And when we, uh, we get a falcon blade. That one's going to be a fun one. Because I may actually go off... Uh, may go mini metal hunting for that alone. Also, we do have this root here that we can just check. And it's just basically like, hey, you want to watch one of the old uh, cutscenes? Uh, old cutscenes for what? Yeah, no, all the old cutscenes. Like, here we go. Adventures with Eric. Like this. It's literally these cutscenes. So, where oh. is it? After I hand it over to you, I'm like, well, a little bird tells me that Endrick. Um, because like, I I do like when they do stuff like this, and the fact that they organize it in such a fashion that you can easily go to whichever one in order. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. It, it, in a weird way, it kind of actually reminds me of Final Fantasy XIV's uh, Adventurer's Book. Because it that has a lot of organization to it. Um, which they've now kind of implemented a mix of the Adventurer's Book and... Uh, like, redoing quests. So, let's see here. Magic. Zoom. To Phenomenon. And I'm going to end the stream probably a little bit earlier than normal. Unlike the previous few times where I've kind of... Gone slightly over. <laughs> gone over? Oh, hey, Doggo. Doggo. Pet, 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 pet. pet doggo. Anything back? Barrels! Actually. Quadrabash. Two by two arrangement, ideal for forging larger items. It's actually pretty good. So, Blood Letter. This is... F it's easier to slay enemies instantly. Sword Breaker. Thieves Turban. Robber Gloves. Gloomy Gloves. Mysterious medicine can decrease the impact of dark element attacks. Life and Wand. Dragon Tail Whip. Of course, who else would get this? The Crown of Dundrasil and Dressilian dress coat. I need gold ore, uh, but I could probably make the uh, Dressilian dress coat. Flourishes. Puff. Quadrabash. Plus one. Uh, it takes a minus two hit 
to his magical might, but he can take a hit now. I'll need gold for, obviously, his other half, the crown. So... Oh boy. Down. Souvenir. So let's go and at least save. And uh, I will try and do the last couple of side quests. Not necessarily like. Uh, the one where we have to find the piece of paper, which I'm honestly pretty sure is supposed to be somewhere near the top of the mountain anyway. If it is at the top of the mountain where we got the silver orb, I won't show it, but if it's like somewhere in the middle, I may try and start this stream in the middle of it. Uh, just to show off the location. But, uh, I'd say we made decent progress. Not necessarily, like, the best progress. Um, but, definitely we made some de uh, decent progress. Uh, okay. Next week, probably going to uh, mostly focus on at least finishing those two side quests. Um, at least those two. Uh, and then just spending most of the stream actively, you know, doing the story. Um, other than that, uh, I think Tuesday we're streaming... Thursday, I think we are as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, hopefully, we don't have to do too many of those like little tiny side streams, like playing catch up with the passwords. But that that will happen a bit more organically. Uh, as such, uh, thanks everybody for joining. Uh, we should have a new podcast out. That. It was last week, I think. But I just want to make mention of it, because I don't think I did. Uh, all the all of our podcasts are available on all major platforms, so that's YouTube, Google, uh, like Google, Apple, Spotify. There is a visual one, I believe, Eddie is making for YouTube, I believe. Uh, and all of our streams are archived on our YouTube as well. Other than that, uh, thanks everyone for joining, and we hope everybody has a great night.